What's going on guys, King Strats here, back into the video on the channel, and on the second day of Big Back Miss King gave to you, it's gonna be a wild week, I think, a lot of new stuff coming out, KFC, I'm just gonna show y'all before I even get into the video, they dropped what they're calling a cheetah or a cheetah or, I don't know what the hell they're calling this damn thing, but it is exactly what you think, it is a chicken, this is my first time looking at it, pizza, KFC dropped a cheetah. There's it's a cheese or chicken strip pizza, basically. This is one of those things that we've always complained in the U.S. that we wanted some of their international stuff, and I think they obliged us this time. So what it is is two chicken strips that they cut in half, and they put marinara sauce, pepperoni, and cheese on it. So it's like a fried chicken pizza. We are so fat. And I love it. So drop a thumbs up. You guys already know the vibes. There is another food thing that I want to do with a chicken sandwich. That's what's in there. As well as these sun chips, which I've never had before. The most underrated chip in the game that I'm going to try out. And there's also like a new lemonade at KFC. But again, let's not mince words and try to make this longer than it has to be. The marinara sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni. We know the chicken's probably going to be good. The question more or less is does the sauce suck? Other than that, I don't see this being bad. It's just a really fat idea and I'm 100% here for it. So there we go. There's the chizza with the marinara and the pepperoni. Let's bite that. This is a nice bite right here. I feel so fat eating stuff like this. But I would be lying if it said it wasn't good. Like, it's, it's not going to be bad. You know you get the 11 herbs and spices. It is a large chicken filet. Very meaty. As you can see, I'm not showing you bit and thing other for a reason. Very large chicken piece. Looks like the same one that goes in the sandwich. I'm not really mad at that. The sauce is sweet. It's like a sweet marinara. It kind of, which very well could be, I'm not sure. But since Yum Brands is under that same kind of umbrella, this very well could be Pizza Hut pizza sauce because it has that same sort of sweetness. It's just missing some of the seasoning in it, but could be the same recipe, we don't know. And the cheese is just plain mozzarella, which isn't a bad thing. I like it. I, I was totally gonna like slay this thing, but I don't dislike it. Things that I don't like. This is $10, $10.99. So the price point, but that 11, let me get this pepperoni piece. I mean, look, it's like a giant adult Lunchable. I'm not mad at it. Would I go out of my way to get this? Probably not. Would I get this when I went to KFC? Yeah, I'm fat, man. What do you want me to say? If I'm rating this out of 10 on a fast food scale, this is a surprising for me, but I would give it an eight. I was fully expecting this to be like in the five territory because I didn't like the double down that came out. This works way better than the double down. It's been a while since KFC has dropped something that I genuinely enjoy, but this I do. I give credit where it's due. It's nice. It's different. Thank you to the fast food chains that are starting to not put out regurgitated stuff. This is different, and I'm here for it. I'm going to move this up from an 8 for the originality to an 8.5 out of 10. KFC, please, more stuff like this. This is a real limited edition item release, and the stuff that I personally want to see, and I think a lot of the people watching this video would agree with. With that being said, you guys might not have seen this if you don't follow me on my shorts channels, but I got this Heinz infused honey with black truffle. Is it good? Nah, not really, but I paid four dollars with this and I'm gonna get my money's worth. Normally it's seven. I found it on sale. So I just want to put this on here and try this with the honey real quick. Yeah, it's big back season, man. We doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm fat. I'm eating, I'm eating that. It's big back, big back season. And also, before I do my chicken sandwich little thing I want to do, one of the most underrated chips in the game, Sun Chips, chili lime. I never had the chili lime. I usually just eat, like, the garden vegetable one or the cheddar harvest. Those are the two I like. But I think Sun Chips are super underrated. So I found a couple of these when I was in Stop and Shop. Chili lime is a good flavor. It's really, really popular right now, but this doesn't have that same, like, chili lime feel you would get from, like, Takis or something like that. These chips are so underrated. I actually like this more. The lime flavor in this is actual lime. It's not that lemon that you get from a lot of the chili lime things they be doing with all these other chips. This tastes like real actual, man. 
This is what they did. They put the real lime, not that BS lime. It's not that fake artificial lime taste that I don't like. I mean, chili is not overpowering. It's just got a little hint of the spice. These are fire. Listen, sun chips to me are super underrated. Nobody does it quite like a sun chip. Are these chips I get every time? Nah, but when you in the mood for these, don't nothing hit like a sun chip. It's big back season. This is also fire. I'm be real with you. This might have supplanted the other two as my favorite sun chip. And sun chips to me, again, I said it 14 times because I believe it. They are underrated. This chip right here, I love them. I love them. I get a 9.4 out of 10 on a chip scale. I'm not joking with you. Back from the huge. Like I said, it's big back season. So let's get into it. Let's get ourselves. Spicy chicken sandwich, right? Y'all wouldn't believe the stuff that goes through my head when I'm working out. This is where I thought of this. I'm not joking. Imagine being on a treadmill and being like, you know what I'm finna do after this? I'm finna take my big ass to KFC and make this fat people sandwich. Big back sandwich. And, and with my whole chest, like, be real, like, for real about it. I'm not making this up. I wish I was. Oh, man. But I'm sitting here like, what if I just put everything on a sandwich? And I was dead serious. Again. Fat back activities, man. There's, like, no reason to be doing this. None. Yeah. Yeah. No reason to be doing this. KFC, you should make a chicken parm. They also dropped this blackberry lemonade. Um, I don't really drink drinks with sugar in it, but I figured I'd give it a go. I'm not really a big sugary drink fan. It's actually not bad. It reminds me of like crystal light, but just too sweet for me. But I think if you like sugary types of lemonade, you'll really like this. It's I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of someone who drinks drinks with sugar in it. I only really drink diet beverages, so that sugar taste is really strong, personally. But if I was a person who liked that kind of lemonade, I would like that. It's a pretty good lemonade. I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. This is topic time, but I do want to try this. So I use Slap Your Mama seasoning on everything. Yesterday, I'm in Stop and Shop, right? And I'm just walking through the aisles, and I see they had a whole section of stuff that I didn't know that they made. Again, I knew the seasoning existed, but they also had like a bunch of different hot sauces, like jambalaya, uh, red beans and rice mix, fish fry, whole wall of it. It was expensive because it was at Stop and Shop, which is expensive as hell, but this is Cajun pepper sauce. They also had a, like two other different kinds, but I got this one. I wanted to try it. So I'm actually going to throw this on a fry just to give it because the fry is probably the blandest. Oh, there you go.
listen, I don't want to slap my own mother, you know? Like, I don't want to slap my own mom because I think that's really rude. But I understand why they call it that. That is some flavorful ass sauce. For a hot sauce like that, uh, mm. it's kind of garlicky. And I love garlic. Damn. This is like $4 for this bottle. It's worth it. For real. One of the better hot sauces I've ever eaten. I never rated a hot sauce before. I just think that's weird. I just think it's good. Mmm. Alright, fair enough. Topic time. This topic more came from last week. But I didn't really talk about it. Because some people say all I talk about is relationship stuff. It's what pops up, man. So, there was a thing that went viral uh, last week, right? Where a woman and her boyfriend went to a concert. And the woman was a huge fan of this particular artist. Now, they're from the UK. I'm not really familiar with the artist. Like, like that. I'd be lying if I said I was, but that's not the point of this thing. So, apparently he has a thing in his show where he takes girls out the crowd. It's something he does normally. You know, Usher do it, Trey Song do it. You get the idea. Anyway, the girl was at the concert with her boyfriend. The guy, the artist, called this girl up out the stands, brought her on stage, and he put down like a silhouette. And he started doing a lot of simulated raunchy activities. Obviously, it's simulated. You could see the silhouette. and It was very simulated. Like, if they have, I'm not going there. Simulated. Okay? Family channel. The secondhand embarrassment I felt for this dude was... I haven't felt that secondhand embarrassment in a long time. I don't think there's any bigger embarrassment to a man than to have someone he's dating behave like that. Let alone in front of him. Like, he was there. Needless to say, they're not together anymore, because once TikTok and everybody got a hold of it, a lot of people were saying the same thing that I said. And, again, I don't think most people, I don't think most women would agree that's okay. But that woman in particular, of course, they found her on TikTok, and to say she didn't have any accountability would be an overstatement. I mean... I watched the video, again, I can't really show whole videos on here because the fair use act, one time they got me, so I had to re-upload, but more or less what this young lady said in the video was, let me backtrack a second, Kai Sinat, the popular streamer, a YouTuber, etc., he found the guy and interviewed him, so of course when the rumors were buzzing, it was first said that they were together for seven years when, she, when they went to the concert, the guy said it wasn't true. So the guy said he paid for the tickets, and that was the other big thing that came from that interview. So the woman made a video basically replying. The first thing that came out of her mouth was the fact that she's like, how dare he say that he paid for the tickets? I paid for the tickets, as if that's the important thing. I don't care who paid for the tickets. The important thing was that you went on stage and threw your whole relationship away for a simulated act. In front of thousands of people. I don't know if it was thousands. Maybe hundreds. I don't know. But she also went on to say she got mad because the masses have gotten her name wrong. And that she talked about that that could happen to her boyfriend. So it's okay. Because she's a fan. And she didn't really think anything of it because she was just having fun. She allegedly went off the stage and also said that she asked her friends... Was it that bad? I don't even know what to say about this. I've said this on this channel before, and I always keep trying to find things to reinforce the fact that I'm not making this stuff up. The reason that men behave a little differently when it comes to going out and doing things, etc., Yes, it is embarrassing. It would be embarrassing the same way if, for example, let's say, hypothetically speaking, again, you were dating me and I, we went to a Megan Thee Stallion concert and Megan Thee Stallion called me up out of there. I was your man and I went on stage and Megan Thee Stallion did some simulated stuff on a silhouette. I doubt any woman in her right mind would be like, he is just having fun. That's a wild statement. The other part is, 
which is the part that I was getting to, is that Megan the Stein would never call Mustang on stage. She had call me on stage, like, I think Nicki Minaj actually did that once. I think she did. Man, they breaking up all kinds of people. The thing that's crazy, though, is I think a lot of women don't really get this because we operate on a different plane, but most male celebrities will, and I'm not saying this is a put-down, I'm saying this, so let me just explain this. Most male celebrities will actually seek out and do things with regular girls. And this is where I want to clarify. I'm saying regular as a point of you are not on the same socioeconomic status as a celebrity. For example, like a Drake or etc. It happens. I mean, Drake literally made a song about with fans. And that's a reality for a lot, you know, Tiger Woods married his nanny at one point. And I can give you a billion different times that a celebrity, professional athlete, you know, well-off person will marry a person that's nowhere near the same socioeconomic status or will just, you know, casually be friends with nice benefit kind of a thing. The same thing in reverse is exceedingly rare. It might happen from time to time, but it's very rare that a woman in a higher socioeconomic status will date or talk to a guy that's regular. It just doesn't really happen that way. So you ain't got to worry about Megan Thee Stallion trying to slide in my DMs. But if you are an attractive enough woman, your boyfriend will have to worry about professional athletes, rappers, influencers sliding in your DMs. It'll happen. And for the ones that aren't loyal, they will succeed. It happens a lot. I don't want to tell you my sources, but there are sources. <laughs> But in the same breath, and there's a lot of women watching this that can probably nod in their head and they will never admit this, but if you are attractive, you have probably had a verified account in your DMs at one point or another, if your account's public. Even if it's private. Or been out. And so-and-so was on a practice squad for the Jets. You remember the one time that you read... I don't want you to out yourselves if y'all don't want to, but go ahead and can we just be honest here? I like accountability. Let's just be accountable. So, the reality is... Unless you are dating someone as a woman who is on a higher socioeconomic status or like exceedingly attractive, don't nobody want your crusty husband or boyfriend. They don't really want him. Unless he's actively seeking it out. Now, if he's a dog, he'll find something because all dogs eventually will find a bone. That was a nice analogy. But the difference is as a woman, way more of you get hit on socioeconomically no matter what. And you're the ones that have to say no. So that's where the embarrassment comes from. More, not, more often times than not, guys don't even have to put themselves in that situation. Now, a, a dude that's not a good guy will seek it out. And it's just still going to happen if he's looking for it. But as a woman, you don't even got to look for it. It finds you. So that's why men tend to get a little bit more wary of situations where a woman wants to do things like go out to a bar or a club or a concert or, you know, places where celebrities are, etc. Because it's a reality for us. Again... If I was hanging out in a, in, a, in, a, in a space and I was just standing in the corner and I'm a regular dude, nobody's going to talk to me. As a woman, I rarely see a woman that doesn't get hit on ever. Ever, if you're out in places like that. Most guys do not get hit on on that level. So it makes us a little more wary. Now, if you're a good woman, men have nothing to worry about. But under the right circumstances, this being she found her celebrity crush and he called her on stage, she threw her whole relationship away. Her whole relationship away for less than three minutes on a stage with her celebrity men. That was it. it. That's how quick in her head she was like, this is a once in a lifetime chance. I don't care. That's what happens. Fellas, I'm not trying to scare nobody, but that's how it happens. If I'm sorry, ladies, this is just just listen. I'm not saying all of y'all do this, but the ones that do when y'all do stuff, when it happens to be a celebrity or something like that, one, you ain't going to tell nobody, not even your friends, because if you do, you're screwed. Y'all are better at it. But if you do. What goes through their head is, I won't get this chance again. He's here. I won't I won't even see this guy ever again. I had to do this. Ladies, again, if if, if the guys had the choice and, and uh, Megan Thee Stallion of the world was sliding to the dance, most of them would fold. But you don't got to worry about it because they ain't going to do it because they ain't going to happen. I'm just talking out loud, man. I know people are going to be like, oh, you know, he's... 
I'm not speaking as a monolith. This isn't a hundred percent. I'm saying it happens more often times than not. Regularly. Regularly speaking, women get hit on way more than a man minding his own business gets hit on. I can feel the uh, macaroni and cheese and, and honey going through my veins. I'm going to get away from this food. Yeah. But I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for watching. We had a nice little talk today. I wanted to talk about that one. I know I go on these great relationship tangents and stuff, but I just find the topic interesting, all right? Most of y'all do, too. Y'all be watching stuff on... That ain't just my For You page. But y'all understand. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. Don't eat these fries. More content. Man, I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.